Hello everyone, there are various reasons why mini games have issues on the mini classics, be it uh, dynamic recompiler or frame buffer issues. I'm going to give you an example of a frame buffer issue right now. Let's load up Dr. Mario for Nintendo 64, and we're going to run this with the Moopin Extreme Core, and just watch what happens if you try to play this per normal. And there's a specific reason for this, I mean, this does not work well on a mini classics. I mean, with frame buffering enabled, it pretty much uh, kills performance and speed on quite a few games, including Conquer's Bad Fur Day, etc. But we're going to start the game here, just check it out for yourself, and here's how the game is going to be uh, with the frame buffer uh, basically disabled. Just check it out. And I'm going to show you how to fix this. This is how it is. So it is a virus within a virus within the game. It's like Virusception, Dr. Mario Sumption, and uh, Inception by Christopher Nolan, great movie. This is not working for me. Look, okay, you can't even see anything at all. That's crazy. But what I'm going to do right now is actually go into Quick Menu. Watch very carefully. Options. And where it says Save Game Options File, click one time. And at the top left, Core Options File created successfully in the top left. I'll do it one more time. That is why I have the green text there. Many of you are like, oh, I don't want that green text. How would you know it's saved if you don't have that green text? I mean, you're pretty much uh, up uh, crap creek there without knowing. Now we're going to go down a little bit. Uh, again, you can confirm this. I mean, you can do this a hundred times in a row, a gazillion times in a row, just to make sure it does it. If it says uh, error created in core options or a game options file, that means you have corruption on your disk and you need to do a little bit of a disk check and then maybe reinstall RetroArch in your cores, BIOS, etc. So I do it right now. I have no problem on my disk. If it gives me an error message, it means you have corruption on your disk. So remember that. Now we're going to go down to this option right here. Frame buffer emulation. We're going to change it to true. Again, only do this on games that need it. There's a WWE game that needs it. Majora's Mask needs it. And I'm going to leave it on. True right now. And then I'm going to go back out to Quick Menu. Override. Save game override. Okay. Override save successfully. Now I'm going to go to Quick Menu. Close content. And then I'm going to go to my little recent history here. And load up Dr. Mario 64. And guess what? We're going to have a uh, perfect emulation of it right now. Again, it's not going to work on every game. If you try to do it on, like, uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, it's going to fix the shadows, but then the game's going to run awful. You can use it on the uh, Pokemon games as well. Okay? Let's check this out and see how it runs now. And we'll do the uh, standard uh, thing here. Again, Majora's Mask, a WWE game. I might do a core for the next release, and I'll call it, like, a... Uh, Moopin accuracy, and uh, the accuracy will parlay into the fact that it's going to fix the graphic glitches on games like Dr. Mario. So I have that in the release notes, nonetheless. Let's try this out real quick, and uh, we can actually play the game now. Hell yeah, mofos. Here we go. I, I suck at this game, though, so <laughs> we'll do what I can, and I'm going to end up failing there. Bam, 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 bam. No thank you, ma'am. Uh, oh, that sucked. <laughs> I can do a rewind, right? Let's at least try to take a couple of right out here. <laughs> I need some work here. I need to hold my skills. There we go. Again, I'm running this uh, a little bit faster than I should be running because I'm doing the uh, supercharged right now, but still awesome, awesome sauce here. But uh, <laughs> when I played the Tetris on DS, I actually played it for like the last 20 minutes at the highest possible speed. Now use that little thing where you can like, see if we can flip it here. Nope, you can't do it here, but Tetris on DS, you can flip it over and over and over and over again. Uh, we'll try this one more time. <laughs> Redo one more time. I'm going to try doing a little bit better here. I'm going to say, I'm going to blame this on the uh, allotted thing here. I mean, it's like the luck of the draw here for what you end up with. Okay. Okay, that's going to help me a little bit. Try doing another red one. Let's try to use a little bit of strategy here. Uh, another red one, yellow. Look at that. There we go. I'm gonna do a little bit better now. <laughs> there we go, we have a shot here. Uh, some blue, another blue. There we go, feel a little bit better now. There we go, taking a fire eye out there. Uh, I messed up there. Uh, I'm gonna end up messing up again. <laughs> Oh, let's go way down the nook and crunch there. There we go. It's like playing a soccer game. <laughs> all that yelling hooligans and all that fun stuff. Okay. You get the idea, though. But Dr. Mario works, and you can do this on the George Mask and a few other games. And uh, like I said, I'll have release notes on this for the update. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys and gals. There'll be more to come.